All right, so the holiday season is finally upon us, and you might be taking a little bit of time off, and if you are, chances are you're doing a couple of things to pass the time. One of them could be mobile gaming. Now, the mobile gaming industry has really boomed in 2019, uh, and there are a lot of gaming phones out there, but gaming features and gaming performance have made it to other segments of the smartphone industry. So you can enjoy a lot of really good gaming experiences even on phones that are still very affordable, especially when compared to the high-end gaming phones that have been appearing in 2019. This is one such device. We are taking one last look at the Honor 9X. This is still one of the really interesting phones of the year, mainly because it brings a really nice design, some really good specifications, and even some gaming performance to a phone that is really affordable. So I wanted to take this opportunity to look at the Honor 9X because I want to continue advocating for this thing I've been saying for quite a while now. Mobile gaming is a great way of reintroducing yourself or introducing new generations to previous years or previous decades games because we can all agree that there are some games from yesteryear that were incredible and it's really nice to be able to play them today, especially on a mobile device. So while I'm going through the Google Play Store to just sort of illustrate that point, you can already see there are games from past and present here, all represented really well, and a phone like the Honor 9X makes all of these games easily accessible. But while I'm going through all of these different games, I'm gonna go ahead and just recount a few specs about the Honor 9X, especially the ones that are great for media consumption. This phone has an IPS LCD display that does a pretty good job with its colors. Uh, again, this is a full HD plus display, which means it's 2340 by 1080 resolution. Uh, the screen comes in at 6.5 inches, but as you can see here, the actual display doesn't have a notch or anything actually getting in the way of anything because the pop-up camera is how they achieved this particular design. The processor in this phone is the Hisilicon Kirin 710F. Now, this is going to be backed by the Mali graphics, Mali G51 MP4, uh, and altogether, this makes for a processor that is a little bit more budget-minded, but there are still some features in it that allow it to play these games, mainly GPU Turbo 3. GPU Turbo does continue to get updates, and the most recent one added a number of different games, most of which are ones you would expect in a mobile device. However, one of them in particular is this one, the Crazy Taxi game. This is such a classic game. I remember playing this all the time uh, back in the day. It's a good time waster, and actually, the way the game is put together is great for mobile applications. So why don't we go ahead and get into one right now. This is Call of Duty Mobile. This is probably one that a lot of you are so into right now. Uh, it is an immensely popular game, uh, and it brings that first-person shooter aspect to a mobile device, a touchscreen. So uh, don't give me too much flack for the way that I play this particular game. I use a three-finger setup. I'm not a full claw person, uh, but yeah, I think that uh, I've had some pretty good times with my particular uh, way of playing. All right, well, we got defeated, but only by one kill. So we were doing really well the entire time up until the very, very end. So it happens that way most of the time. But in any case, you saw that the performance of Call of Duty Mobile on the Honor 9X was more than enough. Yes, if you go into the settings, you see that uh, the graphic settings are at a lower setting. Uh, and then after that, the, the frame rate is at medium, but that does, that does not take away from the actual enjoyment of Call of Duty Mobile. Now, one thing is GPU Turbo does not currently uh, support Call of Duty Mobile. If you want that particular boost, you gotta go to something like PUBG Mobile, which is one of the first games that it did support. Other games that I've been playing on this phone include Monument Valley. I can't believe I actually didn't know a whole lot about this game. It's a classic in mobile gaming and it's beautiful. It's a great puzzler uh, and the music in it, the ambiance and just the soundtrack in general are incredible. So the fact that this one has a headphone jack actually helps with that as well. They even recommend that you play this game using some good quality headphones. And then of course you have other more recent games. Uh, not only did Call of Duty Mobile work well on here, but we also have Mario Kart Tour, uh, which is itself a really fun game for just some quick uh, gameplay when you're just waiting in line or anything like that. Uh, or you know, you might actually get really into it and try to actually complete everything in Mario Kart Tour. I mentioned Crazy Taxi earlier, and yes, it is really fun, but also a lot of classic Sega games are now in the Play Store as well. Even Sonic the Hedgehog games, Streets of Rage, I mean, come on, these are some really awesome games, uh, and there's so many of them in the Play Store that you pretty much never have to be that bored. 
And the games that I just mentioned that were originally made for controllers actually have controller support. So if you happen to have one that works uh, with a Android device, pretty much any, it'll work on the Honor 9X as well. There you have it. That is gaming on the Honor 9X. This is a compelling phone at $300 that has a couple of features that allows it to do some pretty awesome gaming. You saw a number of them represented here, not only games that you might be familiar with in mobile games right now, but also games from yesteryear, yester generation, whatever the case may be. There are some classics in the Google Play Store and this phone can handle it just fine. And I can't stress this enough, this is a $300 phone. That's pretty awesome. And the fact that you have so much at your fingertips with a phone like this for such a low price is in and of itself a great story. So with all that said, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this video on the Honor 9X. Don't forget to check out the rest of our coverage of Honor 9X, Honor devices, anything here at the Pocket Now channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell over on the side to keep up with everything that we're doing. And from there, get into the comment sections down below. Let me know if you have an Honor 9X, uh, what your experience has been, do you game on it quite often, and what games do you play? From there, drop some likes on this video, and like I said before, subscribe to the Pocket Now channel if you haven't already, and we will see you in our next video.